Hello Captains and welcome! Today we'll be starting the Delta Quadrant story arc with Mindscape. Get to there's something interesting I'd like you to look into. We have a problem in the Silurin system. Admiral Tuvok is there on Voyager and he's calling for backup. Rendezvous with Tuvok and provide any assistance he requires. Acknowledged, Admiral. There's something interesting. Tuvok is waiting for you in the conference room. What's going on? No sign of Tuvok or anyone else. Looks like I'm alone in the mindscape. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Doctor, I seem to be confined to sick bay. Can you override the door lockout for me? Mm -mm -mm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? First, I need to make sure you're not contagious or suffering from any injuries. This will only take a moment. I'm fine, Doctor, really. I need to get to engineering. Don't be difficult. I'm only doing my job. Engineers and captains, always in a hurry to get out of sick bay. Doctor, it is crucial I leave sick bay. I need to find Tuvok. You're not going anywhere. Doctor's orders. Doctor? Can you hear me? Come speak to me at the desk terminal. The mind meld was successful. Excellent. I am currently trapped in the ready room. For the moment, I will only be able to communicate with you remotely. Cooper is working to subvert my mental defenses, and I must focus my concentration on keeping my mind intact. So I need to liberate you from your ready room. No. no. Cooper is trying to erode my emotional control. Symbolically, this means that he must destroy Voyager. To do so, he is attempting to overload the warp core. You must proceed to engineering to stop Cooper from destabilizing the warp core. If he is successful, he will have broken down my mental control systems. Once the core and my mind are protected from Cooper's attacks, then we can take control of this mindscape. Take the pad from the doctor's office. I will use it to communicate with you as you proceed. Understood. I'll pick up the pad and proceed to engineering. Good. Now we will be able to remain in contact. Proceed to engineering. Cooper is attempting to subvert my mental defenses by replacing my memories with engrams from his bioship. Until he is expelled, these kinds of incursions will continue. You may see strange items or distortions in your surroundings. Ignore them and proceed as best you can. Remember Kiri Kintha's first law of metaphysics. Nothing unreal exists. Understood. Cooper is trying to overload the warp core. You must keep it stable. This isn't right. The mindscape is a simulacrum. Cooper may move elements to suit his needs, or try to stop you. Certain areas may be blocked or damaged, or even transformed. Do your best to reach your destination. Cooper cannot simultaneously attack an area and conceal it. I see. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This area is very dangerous. The core is unstable. I'm here to stabilize the core. I've almost got this. Just keep back. It will only take a few more minutes. Where's the chief engineer? Vilana? I don't know. She should be here, but as far as I can tell, everything on Voyager is about to fall apart, and I'm the only one here. Stay back. I'm going to put a force field around the core while I try to stabilize it. It won't contain a core breach, but it might block some of the radiation if the magnetic stabilizers give out. And soon we can solve this more effectively if we work together. You are stupid, aren't you? Only people the Vulcan melded with should be here. 
Not everyone on Voyager is part of Tuvok's warped little subconscious. Some of us are far more exceptional. Ensign Kim, step away from the warp core controls. I'll destroy you. And Tuvok's mind with you. He has raised his defenses to protect to. himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. You he has can't stop. Defenses this. to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. Quickly use the controls to restore the warp core. This will strengthen my mental defenses. Excellent. With my mental defenses stabilized, we should have additional time to fend off Cooper's intrusion. Head to the crew decks. Inside of my memories exist fragments of personalities from any person with whom I have previously experienced a mind meld. You may be able to find someone whose personality is not wholly part of my mind, and thus not susceptible to Cooper's influence. I'll find someone to help on the crew decks. I'll keep an eye out for anyone who might be able to help. What is happening? What am I doing here? Who are you? I require specifics. Answer me. Voyager is in danger from species 8472. We need to liberate Tuvok. He's being held locked in the writing room. I have no reason to trust you, but this seems... Familiar somehow. Why am I in the crew quarters? I should be in my regeneration alcove. Tuvok can explain here. You can communicate through this pad. Seven. You are currently experiencing an engrammatic regress as a result of a Vulcan mind meld. You must assist me in reasserting control over the meld. I am currently locked in the ready room next to the bridge. Exercise caution as species 8472 has subverted the vessel. Let's go to the bridge and help Tuvok. That is Borg technology. But the presence of the Collective will not dissuade us. Assimilation is irrelevant. Assimilated Undine. It may be a reflection of the unconscious fears of Species 8472. You're here. Let's just get this over with. You release two. With Cooper defeated, he should no longer be able to maintain the telepathic link with my mind. For the time being. We must end the mind meld and consider our next course of action. Now that we have removed Cooper's influence, it is time to break the link between he and myself. I agree, it's time to end this. With Cooper's attack temporarily halted, we are in a position to slow the advance of his Undine forces. Please accompany me to the bridge. Lead the way, Admiral. Something's not right here. Duvok, why aren't you noticing it? We still do not have a fix on Cooper's whereabouts. I will contact Starfleet for any current information about Undine movements. Use the sensors to check for their quantum signatures. Voyager's sensor array is currently calibrated for tracking Undine movements. 
so you should be able to garner results quickly. I'll handle the sensors. You should return to your ship. While I am somewhat fatigued as a result of the mine melt, I believe that I can continue in my duties on Voyager while we plan our next steps. Tuvok, I'm getting an error from operations. The Omega Protocol lockdown is in effect. We must still be in the meld. Cooper is trying to deceive us. He needs to break the link cleanly, but lacks the strength to confront us directly. What do we do? You don't belong here. We should use the link to our advantage. If we can track Cooper through the link, we can then pursue him in the physical realm. Since the Mindscape deals in symbolic representations, we need a map to his location. We should proceed to Astrometrics. Let's go. Cooper is trying to block your progress. Look for another path. In 2375, Voyager encountered a malfunctioning board vinculum that had been turned into a trap by species 6339. This vinculum caused other personalities from the Collective to surface in Seven of Nine. I entered a mind meld with her in an attempt to stabilize her personality. These people are echoes of the personalities of people assimilated by the Borg. They are not truly aware, knowing only that they desire to escape. It may be helpful to think of them as ghosts. Metaphorically speaking, of course. I'm not afraid of ghosts. Cooper is attempting to distort your path again. Keep searching. I sense we are making progress. Keep searching. According to Voyager's logs, this is the location of Tuvok's previous mine mail was seven of nine. When she suffered forced intrusion of other mines being taken by the board into her consciousness. The event caused her by proximity to a damaged vinculum and is not consistent with the influence of the Undine. After Voyager left the Sobra system early in its journey home, Tuvok learned to experience a traumatic mine mail of the crewman Lon Suter. This time, Voyager has not, incurred, not encountered the Undine. Voyager encountered a Class 17 Nebula in 2373. At this time, Tuvok was suffering from an engromatic virus and entered a mind meld with Captain Janeway so that the captain could learn him, could help him, and re resolve the source of the virus, which extended to his tenure aboard the Excelsior under command Captain Sulu. This is not related to the Undine incursion. Necro Expanse is an area on the edge of Borg space located near an unstable corridor the Undine used to make incursions into our dimension. The quantum singularities in that area of space make it easy subject to incursion by the Undine. 
Objects suggest that this would be an ideal location for them to use as a fleet staging area. It's time to end the mine meld and go find Cooper. This ordeal has taxed me mentally, but I must continue the mission. I have learned that Cooper is in fluidic space, in an area that corresponds to the location known in our dimension as the Northwest Passage. We must travel there and enter fluidic space to confront Cooper once more. He is aboard a special command bioship that he cannot abandon. If we catch him in fluidic space, we can force a final confrontation. Please join me on the bridge. I must focus my concentration on regaining my strength. I need you to enter our destination coordinates and make certain that there are no more surprises. Very well. <coughs> Voyager will join you in the Northwest Passage. We'll leave as soon as you've returned to your ship. We need to hurry if we want to catch Cooper. Very well. Space was labeled by Commander Chakotay as the Northwest Passage. It is a corridor of space that the Borg avoid because of the high incidence of quantum singularities, which the Undine use as points of transit. Voyager encountered the passage in 2373, and Captain Janeway chose to use it to travel through Borg space. This precipitated our first contact with species 8472. What do we need to do here? We must locate a quantum singularity that will lead us into the correct area of fluidic space. My suspicion is that Cooper is using this region as a staging ground for the massed Undine fleet, and his command bioship will be there as well. Approach each singularity and check its quantum wave signature. When we find the correct one, we will pass through. We'll probably have to engage Undine ships first and then scan the singularities. command bioship. According to my scans, he is using a modified dreadnought as a control vessel. Intriguing. Cooper's bioship appears to have nerve clusters, gyri, and structures typically associated with brain matter. While most bioships are organic, they are not aware. Rather, they are biological tissue operated by the Undine as tools. Cooper's vessel is different. It is possible that the ship is self-aware. 
This would explain the increase in Cooper's telepathic abilities. Not only is his command bioship able to coordinate the entire Undine fleet, acting as a brain for the other ships, but it also amplifies his psionic power. We must gain access to the ship directly. We will need to temporarily disable its shielding mantle, so we can fire upon vulnerable sections to disable it. Find and destroy Cooper's ship. Understood. You've come a long way. But as you can see, I am not unprepared for your arrival. <laughs> this command bio ship is unique. It is capable of coordinating an entire fleet of bio ships. A fleet that will launch from the structure you see here. Even if you attack me, I suspect you will find the sheer power of my new fleet to be overwhelming. We're not yet defeated. Bioship is weakened. You must beam aboard. We are close to Cooper's position, but the bioship is blocking transport in the area closest to the central nexus. We must find control nodes that will allow us to enter the nexus. As the ship is organic, we may be able to force it open by sending impulses through certain nerve endings, thereby causing a reflex reaction, much like a sneeze. Find the control nodes, open central nexus, got it. Muscles controlling this passage will not release. We will need to find control ganglia we can use to trigger a reflex response and open the door. Release must be near here. Cooper should be in the chamber just beyond this door. If the ship has a mind, can you convince it not to fight us? An intriguing notion. I shall make the attempt. You must protect me from Cooper and his soldiers while I concentrate on the mind meld. When you are ready, we shall proceed. I am ready. Start the meld.
the ship is resisting the meld. I must move to another neural cluster. The ship is resisting the meld. I must move to another neural cluster. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. Iconians complete their purge. To the Iconians, you are weak. We must survive. When we fight one another, we are weak. United, we are strong. No! Don't listen to him! We must see to our needs. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. Bio Dreadnought has no intention of entering our space. Now we must return to our ships before the Undine retreat to their own fortresses in fluidic space. Very well. There are no signs of Undine pursuit. Whatever the intent of the remaining Undine forces, it seems that they do not involve our dimension. As a Vulcan, I am not given to personal displays. Nonetheless, we have shared a deep connection. We will always carry a part of this experience with us. In a sense, you have become a portion of my mental defenses. Part of the ship and crew that define the most challenging aspects of my existence. Our shared effort has prevented another Undine invasion, and incidentally allowed me to retain my sanity. Your contributions are appreciated. I must advise Starfleet Command of these developments. I am sure we will speak again. Until then, I am confident that events in the Delta Quadrant are in capable hands. Farewell, Admiral. Long and prosper. Peace and long life. Thank you everyone for joining and I'll talk to you soon.